Hello! Today I'm playing with my 768 watt hour battery. Um, I need to fit the BMS. Now I've not powered the BMS up yet, but here it is. This is the uh, Yunhui BMS. I think it says, no, it says that there. Yunhui. Um, 80 amp says it there. Uh, 3.2 volts, so it's LIFEPO 48. S. Now that's going to fit on the side here, so I just need to bolt on these link pieces onto these two points and then fit this connector. Now I've not uh, done this yet, but I have wired the connector on. Uh, it was back to front, as was the balance actually, so all the wires head off in the wrong direction. Um, so yeah, black to this first point and then the first red to blue and so on all the way up the line and I've double treble checked that so we should be fine and then I'm going to plug in the balancer now you can see that the balancer is not connected and all these wires dangling down here have been uh, insulated so they don't touch something they're not meant to um, the problem with the balancer is that I destroyed it I blew it up and uh, you can might be able to just see one of the cap ends is popped there um, I was what I was doing was cutting these wires to length and then plugging them in and then working on the next wire plugging that in and of course that's a really stupid thing to do because inevitably what happened I think it was this white one slipped out of my hand touched all the bits of metal there was a pop and a puff of smoke um, I'll put the camera on to times one actually and I lost three of the MOSFETs yeah you can see the first three MOSFETs there um, have heat blisters on them so they all popped these ones might be okay and the caps uh, I'll just reposition the camera yeah I think it's the first three again uh, that one seems all right actually that hasn't popped this one's popped and some goo has come out this one's bulged so yeah there's a problem with that but I did order then immediately another one and I do have that in a bag somewhere, so uh, I think I'll try and find that. Now you can probably see I've got my uh, electronic DC load here. So what I'm going to do is hook this up to the battery once the BMS is on and then do a discharge because I want to check that the BMS cuts out when any one of these voltages gets down. Now I think the BMS was quite low. I think it was set to 2.1 volts which is a bit low for LIFEPO4, but whatever, we'll take it down there and just see if the BMS is working. Um, and then I want to charge this up. Actually, maybe I'll charge it up first and then discharge it because I want to then do a full uh, discharge test with this thing, make sure it doesn't touch the battery and uh, see what the capacity is. Nominally seven, six, eight watt hours, but I'll test it with the electronic DC load. So let's put the camera here, which I might turn it around a bit so you can see the BMS. So I've got to bring these arms out. Now I don't know whether the metalwork on the front here is connected to there. I suppose I could check it, but uh, it's not connected yet, so it doesn't really matter. But what I don't want to do is bridge that ring terminal across onto this metalwork. Um, so I'll just be wary of that. Let's bring this other one up and screw it onto there and then when I tighten these nothing should move so I really want to pull this that way towards the left so that those ring terminals can't bridge over onto the front metal work uh, okay actually that could go a little bit higher so let's loosen these and just angle it up tighten those then I've got to tighten these nuts uh, well, I can sort of half tighten them with this uh, nut spinner. That's probably good enough. Now, I'll point the camera up a bit. I've got to plug in my uh, cable. Now, I don't know whether you can see this. I'll bring the camera around. Uh, just in there, printed on the PCB, it's upside down, but it says... B minus, so it's definitely negative at this end. Uh, okay, everything's double and treble check. Let's go for it. 
Okay, so that's the BMS plugged in. Nothing went pop. Excellent. So let's just rotate this battery on my desk. Right, so the discharger, I've made up some nice long cables. So that's the negative. So I'm going to wrap that around my camera mount and plug it into uh, P minus. So that's pack negative there. And then positive is here. Uh, that can go up in here actually, can't it? And yes, there's a voltage on the discharger. See if I can bring that into shot without touching anything. So you can see there's 26.18 volts on the discharger. It's set to two amps. It's not a huge current. So let's start that. You have to press it twice for some reason. Uh, yeah, that's got two amps. Power is 51 watts. Can't read that very well, can you? Uh, what's that purple one? Oh, resistance, that's effective resistance. Energy in watt hours is counting up. The temperature should be going up of the heat sink and then eventually this fan will come on. But yeah, that's doing a two amp discharge. But the important thing is that that uh, electronic DC load can pull current through this BMS. Let's see if that's getting, no, that's stone cold. Well, I suppose at two amps. Uh, could I raise it up a bit? I probably could. Let's try raising this up. So two amps is in the green and the setting for current is on there. So that's three amps, four amps, five amps. So you can see the green is going up to five amps. This thing regulates itself to maintain that current. It's in CC constant current mode. Okay, that's putting five amps. Uh, that should get the heat sink warm quite quickly yeah it's heading up to 37 degrees i've got the fan set to come on at 40 degrees okay the fan has now come on and i can feel a blast of warm air on my hand so that's working and the bms is happy with five amps it's an 80 amp bms so it should be happy with five amps um i could probably run this up to about 10 amps this cable I think is rated at 14. Banana plugs are good for 10. Should we try 10 amps? I don't think anything should blow up. Oh, we've gone over the 150 watt power limit. Okay. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to bring this down to 8 amps. And yeah, nice blast of warm air there. But yeah, it seems good for, I don't know, up to 10 amps. Okay, I've raised the camera up so now we can see the voltmeters. It's not on at the moment, but I'll switch it on at 8 amps and we'll see what those voltages drop to. Um, oh, it's still moaning about this 150 watt limit. Can't I switch it on? No, because it keeps going... Let's bring it down to 6 amps. I think I have to clear that error first. Yes, of course, this is about 25 volts uh, under load. And so 6 amps uh, gives you 150 watts. And that's the limit of this discharger, actually. It's a 150 watt unit. Um, so what I'll need to do is add another module onto it. So I'll bolt that onto the left-hand side. Um, I'll find the bolts and screw that on. Then I can relink it with that little red uh, jumper, tell it that it's a 300 watt unit, and then I should be able to do this 10 amp current test. Right, I've got uh, the two modules on here now, and I've set the overpower limit to 300 watts, and it seems to have sensed the little link there. So now let's try it uh, at 10 amps. Uh, 10 amps okay on so that's pulling 252 watts 10 amps 25 volts and we'll see what happens uh, when the fans come on so the watt hours is uh, going up quite quickly 17.6 7 8 9 
18. I can zero those out by pressing these two buttons. In fact, let's, I think I have to press and hold them for a bit. That's it, a little green banner comes up. Um, okay, so that's putting 10 amps. Are these wires getting warm? You'd think they would be at 10 amps. Oh, it's off. Switch it back on. See whether these are getting warm. But the BMS certainly seems to be doing its job. It's not getting warm at all. So that's encouraging. That's a good sign. Uh, the fans are now on. Uh, these wires do feel a bit warm, but then they're being warmed by the air blowing through this heat sink down here. Are they, is it warm over here? Oh, a little bit warm, yeah. BMS. Uh, oh, not warm at all. That's stone cold. Yeah, everything seems to be holding up at 10 amps. That's quite impressive. What are the meters showing? Let's tip this down. Uh, they were all at 3.29, I think, or 3.3. They're now down at 3.2, 3.18. Remember, this is an arc of voltages. So these ones at the end will read a little bit lower than the ones in the middle because they're not very accurate. Simple as that. Right, here's the new uh, balancer. So let's get this out of its bag. Uh, slightly different colours on the wiring. They didn't use any white wires on this one. They obviously ran out of white cable. But the balancer should be identical. Uh, oh, that's been sellotaped up. Now this one has slightly different capacitors. These are 2200 microfarads, 25 volts. Now I noticed on these up here that they were 6.3 volts, um, which doesn't give it much margin if you um, put the voltage of two cells across it. I mean, the MOSFETs blew up anyway. I don't know uh, whether this would make a difference having 25 volt capacitors. But anyway, should be a drop-in replacement, should fit the same footprint. So let's swap that out. Right, that's the new balancer there. Um, I've used the same cable, obviously, because I've got all my banana plugs on it. Uh, now to connect it, which I'm going to do on camera. Why not? So black into there. Uh, white, which is over this side, because this connector also is reversed. It just uh, was how it ended up being. It's white into blue. Blue is the new white. Green next. That should be the third one. I think it is green. That little green LED should come on while I'm doing this, of course. Uh, yellow next, so that's there. Then there's this bunch of three here, which is the green, yellow and white. So green is the next one. That looks okay. Yellow is that one. Yellow goes in there, white goes in the blue, uh, green is the last but one, yeah, it looks okay, green in there, and, and I mean the reason this blue last time was because I didn't put the voltages sequentially across the unit, I just put some arbitrarily, probably a low voltage because the white wire shot over there somewhere. Um, anyway, last wire, red, and that goes to most positive. So that's it now balanced and BMSed. So yeah, that's it kind of finished. So now what I want to do is all this uh, charging and discharging, measuring the watt hours and doing all that stuff. But that's going to take a long time and you won't want to watch that. So I'll do that off camera. So for this video, Cheerio.